Hi everyone, my name is Mallory Albright. I'm the marketing manager here at Sundog and welcome back to another tech tip video. This week, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the task manager tool in Windows. If you're not already aware, the task manager tool allows you to monitor and manage the processes and applications that are running on your computer. It can be incredibly useful for troubleshooting issues, identifying performance bottlenecks, and even closing unresponsive applications. The Task Manager tool is included with Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP, as well as the server versions of the Windows operating system. So let's get started. So how do you access the Task Manager tool? There's a couple different ways you can go about doing that. You can hit Control, Alt, and Delete on your keyboard, and it'll make your screen go black, and you'll have a list of options, and Task Manager will be one of them. So you can choose it from there. Um, the easiest way to go about it, though, is to go very bottom of your screen, and to your bar here below, you'll right-click and hit Task Manager. It'll bring up the pop-up, and you'll get a list of all the processes and applications that are currently running on your computer. As so you can see, I have currently eight applications running and 136 background processes. So if you're running into maybe a slow computer issue, it might be an app's taking up too much, or it could be a background process. So this is a great place to go and look and see what everything's doing. All right, so let's say you're having a problem with an application. Maybe you can't type, maybe it's running a bit slow. Maybe your whole screen's frozen. It's probably time to pull up the task manager and probably end the task. So we're gonna do that. Um, if you have a frozen screen, I recommend doing the control alt delete option because you're likely not gonna be able to go down to the bottom of your screen and do the simple right click and open. So now that we have our task manager open and we can see the CPU memory and all of that, we'll be able to figure out who the culprit is. Uh, for the sake of the demo, I'm going to pretend that Microsoft OneNote is giving me an issue. It might be, a, the color of this will probably change to yellow, um, so just keep that in mind. And I'll click Microsoft OneNote and I have two options. I can right click and simply go to, into task or I can select and go to the very top and click in task. I'm going to click this option. It's going to automatically close the program. You no longer see it in the app section. Now let's say I wanted to bring it back. I've given it some time. I want to restart it. So I'm going to click run new task. I already have one note in here, but this pop-up says type the name of a program, folder, document, or internet resource and Windows will open it for you. So I've got it typed in, I'm going to click OK, and it automatically pulled it up. It just moved it over to uh, my other monitor. So that's how you end a task. Now that you know how to end a task and how to start a new one, um, let's go through some of the other features that Task Manager can offer you. If you're in your Applications section and you right click on any of the apps, you will see a Switch To option. Uh, when it is bold, you'll be able to use it, but the switch to two feature switches the application window. So it's going to bring that to the front of your desktop and bring that in focus. Um, this is super useful if you're not entirely sure which window is associated with which application. I'm um, going down to your background processes. Um, if you right click again, you're going to get a few more uh, other options. Some of the cool ones are open file location. So open that exact file location where to find that background process. Um, right click again, you have the search online. This is going to open up a web browser. So if you're not entirely sure what that background process is, you can look it up right, right through the task manager option. Um, and then of course you have the properties panel just like you would with any other document. So with this you can see the type of file, the description of it, its location, um, the amount of s the size of 
the file itself when it was recreated, last modified, or accessed. Um, it has other information such as the capabilities, the details, so depending on how much information you actually are willing to look into, you'll have it right there in your properties panel. So next I'm going to go through all of the tabs that can be found on the left hand side of the task manager. Um, so we're currently in the process section and we've kind of gone through this already but for a full definition, the processes section is a list of running applications and background processes that can be found on your system along with the CPU, the memory, your disk, network, GPU, and other resource usage information. So next we have the performance section, and the performance section is going to show you some real-time graphs showing total CPU, memory, disk, network, GPU, resource usage for your system. You can find other details here from your computer's IP address um, to the model names of your computer's CPU and GPU. So after the performance tab we have the app history. App history includes information about how much CPU and network resource apps have used for your current user account. Um, below that we have the startups apps. So the startups apps is a list of the programs which are the applications Windows automatically starts when you sign into your account. Uh, there is a way to disable these startup programs um, from here. In order to do that, you'll have to go to settings, apps, and startups. After that, we have the user section. So the user accounts currently signed into this PC and how much resources they are using and what applications are running. So as you can see, I'm the only user on this account, and that's good, because it should only be me on this account. Uh, and then we have our detail section, so this is a more elaborate, uh, detailed section about all the information about the processes running on our system. Um, this is basically the traditional processes tab from the task manager that you would, would have seen in Windows 7. Um, and then we have the services section. So this is a management of the system services. This is the same information that you would find in services.msc, um, the service management console. Thanks again for tuning in to this week's tech tip video. Don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe, and we'll see you again next time.